Welcome back to another edition of the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today, I'm going to do a, another video. This is going to be a part two of a series. I'm, uh, I'm making this video for anyone who wants to watch it, don't get me wrong, but I was really, I'm really talking to the, the apprentices that's out there who just, just, just entering the trade and want to know what tools that they should buy and uh, to add to their arsenal and to make them a better electrician, uh, you know, by having the right tools for the right job. Today we're gonna we're gonna talk about tools uh, for hole making, hole making, making holes inside of panels and things like that, and having the right tool to do that. Now I know some of the tools, some of this what you see in front of you today might be uh, you might consider the old school because they they have this type and, and they have this. And, uh, nowadays instead of that and what have you. But trust me, uh, it, as an electrician, you're going to need these, some of these tools, if not all of them. Okay? So right here, what I, what, I, what I have before you right here is the green Lee on the, your left side right here is um, the Green Lee 830 Variable Pitch Hole Saw Kit. And these are for metal, basically. This is a bimetal hole saw kit, and it goes from from a seven eight to um, let me see what this is. I think this is a um, two and a half inch, and this is all the accessories to it that you would need. So this is a nice hole saw. Also, it it, it uh, it's it's really heavy a heavy duty, and get yourself a good drill, and um, it does its job. Uh, I've had this for a number of years, and every time I had to use it, uh, it worked flawlessly for me. Now, um, they have others on the market. You know, I think Klein makes them. You may get some by Ideal and, you know, your your preference. You know, it don't have to be a green lead, but you're going to need some hole saws. And always get the metal ones because you can always find a hole saw for if you're trying to cut through wood or you know, something like that. You get your auger bit to go through wood. But you're going to need you some nice um, hole saws. Uh, I mean, some nice, um, a good brand, put it like that. You're going to need you a good brand. You don't want to get anything from a Harbor Freight. They may last one time. It may only last twice. But you're going to, you're going to pay again to go and buy another a good pair. So you're going to be paying twice for it when you could just put the money together and get you one good pair. I mean, a one good set. And take care of your tools, guys. And your tools going to always take care of you. Now, before I go further, guys, I want to ask you to hit that like button, you know, if, not just for this video, uh, for any other video you see of mine. If you like it, hit the like button to help support the channel. That cause, that's free. I'm not asking you for your money and all this, but that, that's, that's for free. You know, help support the channel, man. Hit the subscribe button also if you, if you dig the channel. I would appreciate that too. Now, with all that out of the way, let's continue with the video. Uh, on this side is a knockout set. This is by Greenlee also. I like Greenlee. I really do because Greenlee, uh, they make industrial type um, uh, tools for electricians. Uh, I'm not saying that Ideal and the rest of the client don't, but Greenlee was known for making, uh, you know, it's known for making uh, industrial type electrician tools, especially for hole saw cutting and wire pulling and things like that. But anyway, dude, this one right here is the Greenlee Slug Buster. Uh, model number 7238SB, a half inch to two inch conduit, conduit knockout punch set with, rat with ratcheting box and wrench. That'll be this one. And this will be the two inch uh, hole saw. I mean, not hole saw, the two inch knockout uh, um, um, maker right here. This, this, this right here. And this, this works flawlessly also. Um, so I view this give you a nice clean cut. This too sometimes to give you you know you're gonna see some uh, shredding in, but this give you a nice clean cut that you don't have to worry about burring or anything. You know getting all the burrs out of it or anything. That's gonna be a nice clean cut. Um, this it give you a nice clean cut too, but you might have to kind of depends. Every now and then you might have to uh, kind of clean it up just a little bit. But this is a real nice. This is a real nice set also. This is the drill bit that I used uh, to drill the pilot hole. And once I drill the pilot hole with this, uh, I use this to go in one side 
and I will use this to, uh, it'll be like this, and this goes on like this, like so, and if I can get, get it started, okay, there we go, go like that, and this ratchet right here, we're going here, you know, wait, let me make it, hold on. There you go. And you make your hole. Now, is it time consuming? No, no, not really. It's, it, it's not faster than one of these uh, step bits right here. But, uh, you know, it's if, if you're working inside of a live panel where you know you have to protect that wire, so what I always do, uh, I always get me a piece of wood to block all the wires, make sure I got it, block it good from top to bottom because Sheets of metal, when you're cutting through metal, it's going everywhere. The last thing you need for a piece of metal to hit one of those hot lugs up there, you know, that you need to So you want to protect that at all times. I mean, I don't care if you get a piece of uh, metal, I mean, not metal, uh, uh, um, get something that's not conducted and put it inside of the panel right where you're drilling at, not flush up on it, but that protect the wires and make it go all the way up from the floor of the panel to the top. And, you know, and then don't just drill butcher your way through that you always when you're drilling you make sure you take a look at it every now and then make sure you can see make sure you can see the other side and you check it you make sure you check that's what you do on the live panel uh but anyway this is to make the pilot hole and that's when i use that to finish it up to complete the job with um now these right here, these are considered, are called, some people call them unit bits. I call them step bits. And the reason why I call them step bits is because they have steps, you know, different sizes, small, 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 bigger, 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 biggest, you know, like that. That's why I call them step bits. And I think there's a term, I think there's a terminology by some companies who, who, who have them. Uh, now these can run you anywhere from 60 to $70, depends on where you get it from. This is a green lead right here. And I think it cost like about, um, at the time, about $80 for this thing right here. But I've had this for a number of years. Everything you see here, I had it for a long time. Uh, the only thing that I, that's, that's not so expensive on this table right here is this automatic punch. And I use this to start this with. Uh, because if you don't uh, have a punch, have a little incision inside the middle, this going to dance all around. Now, uh, all around... Uh, the, where you're trying to cut the hole at on the metal, you know, because it's kind of stupid. But once you put a little incision inside the metal, like one, one, I mean, I always hit twice. I mean, sometimes three times and it's automatic. In fact, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It makes a noise like, wait, see, like that. And in fact, I think it just looks, it didn't do nothing to hit. But yeah, did a little something to that. Those two, I don't know if you can see those two little dots right here. It did something to that. But anyway, uh, that's what, that's why I got this. And I bought this from Harbor Freight. So this cost me like about a dollar, two dollars. So stop by, you know, stop by. Or it, it don't have to be one by Harbor Freight. Some people like to use the the uh, the punch with the hammer and uh, the hammer and the, the punch. No, this is good enough for me. This is, you know, I hit it about two or three times just to make the little incision. And this gonna lock in right, put it right on there, and start your your hole, your pallet holding, your pallet holding. You got it. Now with with these, you don't have to use an automatic punch. You just already put you just put this where you want to drill your hole at, and they they go in nice and fast. Do it's the same for this, same for this. You know you don't need to uh, because these have like have like uh, self pulling or self tapping uh, in, uh, uh, tips on them. Same as this one, you know. But if you want to start a pilot hole, you can. You know, it, you know it's 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 not written, a written law where you just can't do it if you're using one of these. But if you want to. Do it, you know, that way you, you're going in the exact hole that you want to um, drill at. So, uh, for you guys who just coming in the field, I recommend, you know, it's just my opinion. Uh, talk to the master you're working with, uh, the master electrician that you're working with. He might tell you something different. He might have another way. But this has gotten me through, and uh, I still use it, but I, I, I got, got to tell you the truth. I do use these more than I use these, you know, right now, but... Uh, I, I won't get rid of these. I will not get rid of what you see in front of you right now. So, but this is a good deal. This is a good thing, y'all. And I'm, you know, and I, I, I hope that you get something out of this, uh, what I'm trying to show you. 
Uh, but all, all of this is something that you're going to need as an electrician. All of this you're going to need as an electrician. Um, but if you, prefer, if you prefer, uh, prefer to use something like this, well, and none of these, well, you know, that's your preference, and I respect that. But me, all of these doing me just fine. Uh, all of these doing me just fine. So, uh, you know, uh, so with that being said, uh, I'm gonna do a, this. I'm gonna do another video of some specialty tools for uh, the, the the apprentices. Now, this may not be used in all. The, you know, they may use something in the other countries around the world that's different from this um, uh, to make holes. I'm, I'm not sure. You know, but I know they, uh, this is what I use here in America, in the United States. So, um, guys, I hope that you appreciated the video. I hope you got something out of it, uh, out of this. And if you did, I appreciate it if you hit that like button. I appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, you know, so you won't miss another video that, that I do put out. So I want to thank you. And until next time, you guys take care. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Peace out.